Hi guys, welcome back to Absolute Brushes. If you're new here, I'm Pranjali. Thank you so much for tuning in. Do you also love that deep, dark, captivating black smoky eye looks but don't know exactly where to stop and end up with a raccoon <coughs> eye? Then don't worry, I've got an amazing hack that will give you a perfect smoky eye every time you wish it. So if you want to know what's this hack, then please keep on watching. I'm starting out by priming my lids with the Pack Takeover Concealer in the shade Beach Sand and I'm setting it with the new Master Fix Setting Loose Powder. To get those dramatic straight edges, I'll be using a sticky tape. For demonstration, I'll be using the Soft Clam Palette by ABH Cosmetics. I'm first dipping into this pale gold shade to brighten my brow bone with my small short shader brush. For the next step, I'll be warming up my crease area with this nude brown shade with my dual ended blending brush by ABH Cosmetics. To create a stencil so that I don't go overboard with a black eyeshadow, I'll be using a lid tip in my crease. This will act as a guide for me to know where to stop with the black eyeshadow. Using this lid tape as a guide, I'll be applying the black shade only till the starting of the lid tape. This will act as a base for the black eyeshadow for which I'm using the Maybelline gel liner. You can use any black gel liner as your base and I'm setting it with a black eyeshadow with my flat brush by ABH Cosmetics. Again using the lid tape as a guide, I'll be first depositing the black eye shadow with my pack brush in the style 126 and then blend it using my dual ended blending brush by ABH Cosmetics only till where the tape ends. If I go beyond this, then I'll end up with a raccoon eye which nobody wants. Once I'm done blending my black eyeshadow, I'll be taking off the tape so that I can fill in the space and you can see how I've created an ombre effect from deep dark charcoal shade to a more blown out black shade in the crease while keeping the black shade contained so that it doesn't turn into a raccoon eye. For the final step, I'll be just filling in the black area with a black eyeshadow to complete that ombre effect. Very quickly, I'll be revealing the tape on the edges and cleaning up my under eye using a concealer. For my waterline, I'll be using the Magnet Eye Cajol by Faces Canada and smoking out my lower lash line with a nude brown shade I used in my crease with my pack brush in the style 126. And to brighten up my inner corner, I'm using the pale gold shade with my flat short shader brush. For lipstick, I'm using the Maybelline Bullet Lipstick in the shade Nude Nuance. And to finish up my eye makeup, I'll be throwing on some falsies but before that, I'm curling my lashes and coating them with some mascara. This one's by Mars. And for falsies, I'm using the Ardell Natural Lashes in the style 102. And here is the finished look. How easy was that? So if you enjoyed and happened to learn something from this video, then please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post several videos a week. If you want me to find more hacks like these, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to bring new hacks for you guys. I've left the link to my social media accounts in the description box down below, along with the link to the tape I used. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.